brinkmanship, kerfuffle, hooligan. These are three of the words you, my viewers, wanted me to discuss. So that's what I'm doing in this video. Find out what these words mean, where they originated, and how to use them in sentences. Do keep watching for all this and more. But first, if you haven't already, do subscribe to The English Nut. Thank you. This is the favorite word of my viewer, Begoma Academy Maths Club. Brinkmanship. It means the practice of pursuing a dangerous policy to the brink of disaster before pulling back. It is applied in particular to politics. It is about getting what you want by threatening to do something dangerous. The word originated in a Life magazine interview of former US Secretary of State John Foster Dulles, who said, the ability to get to the verge without getting into the war is the necessary art. If you are scared to go to the brink, you are lost. Responding to this, American politician and diplomat Adlai Stevenson criticized Dulles's brinkmanship as reckless, and the term quickly caught on after that. One famous case of brinkmanship was when the Soviet Union placed nuclear missiles in Cuba to defend the latter from the US and to increase Soviet strategic power in the region. These missiles were a direct threat to the US because Cuba is geographically close to it. Missiles launched from the island country would have been able to hit targets in the US. This act brought the US and the Soviet Union to the brink of nuclear war. The crisis ended when the US ordered a blockade around Cuba and the Soviets decided to withdraw the nuclear missiles. Brinkmanship can lead to peace, but with the threat of a deadly breakdown always present. Here's how you can use brinkmanship in a sentence. The country was adept at nuclear brinkmanship, using it as a tool to get its way. The Prime Minister said he refused to play a dangerous game of brinkmanship with the enemy country. In a duel of brinkmanship, one of the players can suddenly collapse. The negotiations were characterized by brinkmanship on both sides. This is a favorite word of my viewer Aishwarya Kumar, kerfuffle. It means an uproar, controversy or fuss, a disturbance or confusion typically caused by a dispute, a commotion or a disorderly outburst. Synonyms for this word are brouhaha, fraka, and hullabaloo. The kerfuffle in the parliament showed its members in a bad light. In the kerfuffle that ensued, she forgot to feed her child. There was a tremendous kerfuffle over the mayor's statement to the press. Kerfuffle is derived from the old Scottish verb fuffle, which means to throw things into disarray or to ruffle someone's feathers. Some of us might remember President Trump's Kofif kerfuffle. Trump had tweeted the following, despite the constant negative press, Kofif. The tweet ended abruptly on this strange word, Kofif. There is of course no such word and it was in all likelihood a typographical error. People seized upon the tweet and within a week it was retweeted over 100,000 times. It was a right royal online kerfuffle. Here's a quote which contains the word kerfuffle. It's from Paint the Wind by Kathy Cash Spellman. From what I see, ambition just puts you in a kerfuffle and doesn't give you much in return, but bigger headaches than the next fella. F-E-L-L-E-R, fella, is a non-standard way of writing fellow. Here's another quote. It's from the book the Innocents at Home by John Buxton Hilton. Even last night, in all the kerfuffle, there was hardly a cheep out of her. A cheep is the shrill sound a young bird makes, but here it's used to talk about a person keeping quiet during a commotion. This is the favorite word of my viewer, John Corolla, hooligan. This means ruffian or hoodlum. Someone, especially a young man who behaves in a violent way as a part of a group and causes damage in public places. He is someone who makes trouble and breaks the law. 
One specific way the word hooligans is used in the plural is to refer to groups of people who cause trouble at football games or other sporting events. This practice is called hooliganism. The violence perpetrated by the hooligans at the stadium led to the death of several fans. He was a common hooligan intent on causing trouble, so the management had him thrown out of the premises. Rupesh's parents don't know that he hangs out with a gang of hooligans at college. Hooligans had sprayed graffiti on our compound wall. The word hooligan probably originated in hooligan with a capital H, a variant of the Irish surname hooligan. It may have crossed over into English as a common noun from the surname of an Irish hoodlum called Patrick Hooligan who was notorious in London in 1896. Or it could have been popularized by a song called The Hooligans performed by two Irish comedians in London in 1892. It went, Oh the hooligans, oh the hooligans, always on the riot, cannot keep them quiet. Oh the hooligans, oh the hooligans, they are the boys to make a noise in our backyard. The Happy Hooligan was the name of an American comic strip from the early 20th century which might have helped spread the usage of the word. The following is a quote from the writer Henry Jeffries about hooligans. More recently, the tabloid press dubbed English football hooligans lager louts, as if it was the fizzy beer that was the problem rather than that many supporters were more interested in fighting than football. And this is a quote from P.G. Woodhouse, one of the most widely read humorists of the 20th century. We had four great beefy hooligans onto us when Linton got his tooth knocked out. Woodhouse's books are entertaining and I would recommend that you read them. Brinkmanship kerfuffle hooligan. These are the words I discussed in this video. Let me know your thoughts and if you'd like me to cover any other words, do let me know in the comments section. I'm the English Nut. Bye for now.